well, hey, I've decided that it's a Sunday afternoon and I need to go write something. I need to go type something. I need to get out of the house and type. So I'm going to go take that machine, the Brother XL Webster XL 747, and go typing. So let's go. The case. We're going to need some paper. Typing paper. Take the typewriter, put it in the case along with the paper. These zippered cases, by the way, for the brothers, they're a lot better than the Olive 80s. Come on, let's go. All right. Let's get going. We got typewriter. Got some paper. Got my floppy sun hat in case this overcast sky clears up and uh, I need to protect my head, right? Waiting for traffic here. All right. So you might ask yourself, why do I want to go out and type and write that, if you will, with a typewriter when I could have just as easily brought, let's say, a fountain pen, ballpoint pen, pencil, and a notepad, notebook, journal book, or whatever? And the answer is because every kind of writing instrument has its own kind of aesthetic and its own kind of feel and it influences your writing in different ways. The mechanics of it affect the way you write. And I kind of like the way the rhythm of a manual typewriter works. Um, I like to, the freedom of, of what it does, what it allows. Uh, there's a lot of different ways that I have written over the years and uh, many of them, most of them are portable. But, uh, you know, writing by hand is um, okay. I've written some good stuff by hand, but I like the rhythm and the mechanicalness of the typewriter. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go type. So the next question you might have is, why am I going out somewhere to type with my typewriter? Don't I have a nice little man cave shed and a nice little office? Or patio room or the backyard or something like that. Well, I type in all kinds of different places, to be honest with you, and I just feel like I want to go out somewhere and uh, kind of get inspired. So here's the thing. Sometimes I feel like writing alone. Sometimes I feel it's okay to have people around, like family, other times I feel like maybe I want to be in a public place with people around but that aren't paying attention to me or at least they're not family, they're strangers, but I kind of need different kinds of inspiration, different kinds of environments to write in uh, differently. If I'm in the same kind of environment all the time, I notice I just don't get the same kind of, I get the same kind of writing vibe, but I don't really get um, differences. You know, I like to mix it up and see if, if things happen differently each time, which I think they do. I think if you mix up your writing style, your writing environment, the tools you use, I think it really makes a difference. We're here. This is the first time I've been to been to the coffee shop here, Helmut Coffee, since they expanded it. Wow, look at this place. Cool. 
Well, that was fun. I was in a conversation with a guy in line, and he was recommending other coffee places, you know, besides this. And I was saying how this humble coffee, which if you haven't seen this, this is humble coffee, right? But humble coffee is enlarge their little space because across the street a Starbucks has opened up so they had to do something to compete right so what I'm doing here is pulling out the typewriter and trying not to do it in such a way that I spill the coffee or tip the camera over and blah 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 and also I don't have a I don't have another table to really shoot video from no. so this is gonna be real noisy because we're right along Lomas Boulevard in Albuquerque um, so, setting up the typewriter, right? Um, so, as I said on the car, uh, why am I going out to write somewhere? Well, see, I got this idea. And let me increase the exposure. Yes, I can't. Anyways, the idea is, okay, wallet. I have these little note notebooks, neat notebook, right? And I use a... Fisher Space Pen, except don't drop the Fisher Space Pen in the factory underneath the raised metal floor. <clears throat> Tell me how that worked. Uh, anyway, so I had this idea when I was driving to work the other day. Um, I don't know what I, I started thinking of it, but none wiser. So none wiser is a, is a could be a character, right? Like a nun, right? None wiser and the Ministry of Obstruction. So this is an idea for a short story, None Wiser and the Ministry of Obstruction. And what is that all about? Well, it's a short story idea for this nun who has to drive around in a little car and doesn't want to drive very fast. And she decides that her ministry in life is to be an obstruction to other people, to remind them of things in life that are more important than getting from point A to point B as fast as you possibly can. Anyways, that was an idea for a short story. I don't know if it'll work out, but I'm going to try to piece together some ideas. That's one-handed typing. Well, if nothing else, I have a title in two-tone black and red. That must count for something. So as I'm sitting here in front of the typewriter next to the orange wall, right, I'm thinking, so what is really the reason for this story? Well, it's personal confession time because um, actually I've had issues with people tailgating me. Um, so I actually uh, think that probably this none wiser character is really myself. <laughs> uh, I don't know though if I have a ministry of obstruction or if I'm just ultra sensitive to it, but I found the best solution to people, to not being bothered by people tailgating you is to take your rear view mirror and fold it down so you can't see behind you. And then you don't have that problem because when I'm on my motorcycle, it doesn't have a middle rear view mirror. It has just side mirrors, you know, where the handlebars are. I don't have that problem on a motorcycle because it's not, the rear view mirror isn't within my primary zone of vision. It's off to the side, so I just fold my rear view mirror back, and I don't care about what people do. I just drive the speed limit sometimes. Yeah, so I have about, I don't know, two-thirds of a page written. Um, yeah, story's come along okay. A good start to it. So I chose to sit out here on the... Uh, north side of Hummel Coffee next to the busy road just because you know I was self-conscious about typing next to people inside and this little brother Webster typewriter is rather noisy it's not as quiet as some of them but anyways I'm enjoying myself out here um, luckily it's not too cold because this is sort of the shady side of the building but hey it's May even though we've had kind of a cool uh, wet spring it's pretty nice right now but I'm gonna continue with this story as much as I can right now well, that was a pretty fun little typing session I had. I had uh, one lady that was coming out of the coffee shop stopped and we chatted for a few minutes about typewriters and why I was typing and 
the difference between typing and writing on a computer and all this stuff, but it was a positive conversation, I think. Uh, I think she, uh, I think I expressed myself well enough about the merits of what I thought were good about typing as a writing methodology. Uh, I don't think she necessarily, I don't think I, I sold her over onto the idea of her doing it herself, but it was, I think she understood my reasoning uh, for myself, but um, yeah, so I wrote a kind of a page and three quarter, basically two pages uh, of a little treatment of a potential short story about this character, Sister Wiser and her Ministry of Obstruction. I don't know if it's going to become a real story or not, but you know, it's something that came to me this last week as I was driving to work more as a play on words or a pun you know none wiser there's none wiser you know and then ministry of obstruction that phrase kind of came to me and those two together kind of became a title which informed the subject matter of the story but uh, I think if I had gone out with a uh, with a notepad notebook and a pen I wouldn't have necessarily been as tempted to sit and work at, the, at at writing this story like I would have with a typewriter because it's not enough just to put a typewriter in your car but when you stop at your destination which is some public place and you actually have to um, take the typewriter with you into that place as I did then if you sit there and not use the typewriter you really are kind of having to ask yourself what are you doing it sort of pressures you into having to at least start using it that's why you have it there and so it kind of is a way to force yourself to write and to focus your thoughts on the story in a public setting um, at least that's what it works like how it works for me so anyway that was my little typing session today, my little trip out typing, writing. Uh, not a whole lot of writing, but it was a good start. Uh, oftentimes that's the hardest thing with writing is getting started. So that's my typing session for today. You have yourself a good day. This is Joe Van Cleve in Albuquerque. See you later. Yeah, so uh, afterwards, uh, getting home here and rereading the two-pager that I wrote, I was really happy with uh, the start of this story, it uh, it's, provides a lot of good content um, for the potential short story that I hope it will be. But anyways, uh, I wanted to also comment briefly about um, why I did this video in the way that I did. And that is because, you know, the last few videos, typewriter videos, have been, I'm sure, really boring to you. And I kind of want to make it a little more spontaneous, a little more... Uh, like you are with me and we're going out to do something together and uh, rather than sitting there listening to me uh, blah 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 talk just talk so I hope to kind of make these videos a little bit more stream of consciousness a little more varied camera angles and quick pace to it and hopefully I don't drone on as long which I'm afraid this postscript has done already but anyways until next time you take it easy bye